when the claim was denied for untimely filing, we need to check the timely filing limit for that particular insurance. And we have a cross check whether the claim was submitted within the time frame or not. If we have submitted within the time frame, we can go ahead and call and reprocess the claim. If the claim was submitted outside of the timely filing, then we need to identify what made the claim to be untimely and we have to submit an appeal with the supporting documentation. When a claim is denied for patient cannot be identified, the reason for the denial is incorrect information has been submitted to the payer like name, date of birth, ID number, or gender. The solution for this denial is make sure that we are submitting a correct information by checking the insurance card copy and the driver's license. When the claim is denied for not deemed medically necessary, that means the diagnosis which we submitted is not covered based on the local coverage determination. So we have to check the local coverage determination policy and we have to refill a contact claim with a valid LCD coverable diagnosis code. When a claim is denied for non-covered service, we have to check the respective payer portal for the coverage summary. If the particular service is not covered, then we have to build a patient. If the particular service is covered, that means the insurance denied the claim incorrectly. So we have to call the payer and we need to reprocess the claim. When a claim is denied for new patient qualification not met, we have to check whether the patient visited our provider within the last three years. If visited, we have to build established ENM office visit code instead of new patient office visit ENM code. If not visited within the last three years, we have to call the insurance and we need to reprocess the claim. When there is no claim on file with the payer, we have to check whether the claim was submitted to the correct payer ID or not. The correct payer ID number can be found on the card copy. If the payer ID number is incorrect, we have to refill a claim with correct payer ID number. If the claim was submitted to correct payer ID and still there is no claim on file, we have to check is there any rejection in the clearinghouse. If there is a rejection, we have to solve the rejection and we have to submit the claim to the payer. If the claim was submitted to the payer without any rejection and still there is no claim on file with the payer, then we need to call the payer and give the confirmation number that is found on the clearinghouse so that using the confirmation number, the insurance representative can able to pull the claim in their system. When a claim is denied for missing clear number, we have to check whether we have submitted a claim with a valid clear number in box 23. If there is no clear number, we have to submit a quarter claim with a valid clear number. If there is a clear number on the claim form and still the insurance denies the claim, we have to call the payer and reprocess the claim. When a claim is denied for no coverage on DOS, we have to check the respective payer portal for the coverage information. If the payer portal shows policy is active during the date of service, we have to call the insurance and reprocess the claim. If there is no coverage on DOS, we have to check whether a patient has any other insurance on file. We have to check eligibility for that particular insurance and we have to resubmit the claim to that insurance. If there is no coverage on DOS and there is no other insurance on file, we have to contact the patient for any other active coverage information. 
when a claim is denied for a missing referring provider name and NPI, we have to check the box 17 and 17B in claim form, whether the claim was originally submitted with the referring provider information or not. If it was submitted with the valid information, then we need to call and reprocess the claim. If there is no referring provider information, then we need to submit a correct claim with the valid referring provider information. When the claim is denied for coordination of benefits, that means the insurance wants to know which insurance act as primary and which act as secondary. So we have to call the payer and confirm when the last letter was sent to the patient regarding the updation of COP. If there is no update received from the patient regarding the COP, we have to contact the patient to update the COB information. When a claim is denied for missing referral number, we have to check what type of plan the patient is having. If the plan is PPO, referral is not required. So we need to call and reprocess the claim. If the plan is HMO or POS, referral is required. So we have to refile a corrected claim with the valid referral number. When a claim is denied for missing NDZ number, we have to check whether the claim was submitted with the NDZ number or not. If there is no NDZ number found on the claim form, we have to submit a correct claim with a valid NDZ number. If there is an NDZ number on the claim form and still the insurance denies it, we have to call the payer and reprocess the claim. When the claim is denied for need EOB from the primary payer, we have to resubmit a claim with the primary EOB. If there is no other insurance found in the software, we have to call the insurance and explain they are the only insurance. If insurance denies it and says like, there is another insurance which acts as a primary during the state of service, we have to find the eligibility and we have to submit the claim to that particular insurance as a primary. Then we have to submit a claim with the primary EOB to the secondary payer. When the claim is denied for no authorization on file, we need to check whether the claim was submitted with authorization number or not. If we have an authorization number on claim form, we have to check whether the authorization number is valid for the particular DOS and for the particular procedure. If so, we can call and reprocess the claim. If there is no authorization on the claim form, we have to refile a correct claim with a valid authorization number. If we do not have authorization on file, then we have to contact the provider for the valid authorization number. If we fail to obtain the authorization for the particular service, then we can go ahead and submit an appeal for the claim.